guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jen. I help people reinvent their reality. So I'm going to talk about the hamster wheel of life today. The hamster wheel of life, if you can picture it. So I caught myself the other day, a couple days ago. I caught myself in the feedback loop of my own mind. So I'll explain it here. It was like so I suddenly became aware of everything I did that was the same. So I was, um, I have guinea pigs, so I was like cleaning their cage at night and I realized like everything I was doing, the order that I would do things, how I walked, the leg, I would step over like the, I have like a gate, I'd step over the gate with like my left leg, with the same leg every time. I'd turn in the same directions. I'd walk down, you know, walk down the hallway and I would turn the door the same way or I would you know, go in the bathroom and then I would do. So, you know, what I'm trying to say is like, we do things every single day. We're just on autopilot, as you know. Um, but it's not until sometimes like you become aware of just how programmed you are. Even it's like driving your car, right? So many times during the day, we, if you think about it, think of from the moment you're like your morning routine, how, how automatic it is for you. Like you probably do things in a certain order. You turn around in a certain way, right? You grab the shampoo bottle with a certain hand. You, you know, lather yourself in a certain way in the shower. You brush your teeth in a certain way, right? Um, so it's interesting when you're actually aware of it. <laughs> and I was really aware of it. And I was like, oh man, like I need to do something different. I just felt, you know what? those times where you just feel like you're in such an automatic mode. You're walking the way you're talking, you're, you're going to the same places all the time. You're moving in the same way. You're eating the same way. You're having the same conversations every day where you just feel the need to do something different. That was me yesterday morning. I was like, I, it was like eight o'clock in the morning and I decided to just go out for a drive and listen to some music or something. Cause I was like, I need to, I don't know what to do. Like, but I need to break, break up the routine of just the autopilot mode. For some reason it was bothering me. And I was like, I was like, man, like every day it's like the same, same thing. So, you know, it's, um, it's hard too, because it was like, for me, I was like, okay, I'm going to go out for a drive, but then I ended up like going to a store, going one of the same places that I usually go to, so taking like the same route. So it's very hard to pull our brain out of this mode. We're so programmed. We are such a computer and it, it feels really awkward. You know, it's like eating with your non-dominant hand or brushing your teeth with your non-dominant hand. It feels really odd to us, right? And to get us used to a new pattern, you have to do it on a consistent basis. Like you do it one time, it's just going to feel really off and you're going to, your brain is going to automatically switch. Usually subconsciously, like we don't even know we're doing it. We'll just switch to like our more comfortable hand or more comfortable, whatever. So I just thought it was interesting. And you know, some ways, if you are feeling like you're in a really just like going through the motions and you're really like, like, oh man, I need to do something different, but it feels really hard to do. And then what do you do? Well, you know, the answer is to start small, start small. Something I did that I haven't done in, in a very long time. I have this, an old piano in my house and I haven't played piano in years and years. And, um, you know, I took lessons back in the day, but, but gave it up. I decided, all right, I'm just going to like hit a couple notes, hit a couple keys, you know? And I did that. And what it did, it, not that I was like playing this beautiful music, but it got me in my brain a little out of the element. Like it's something different, just a little tiny switch. The other thing I did, I, um, I sat on the couch and I did nothing. Like I stared at the wall for a while because so many times like we try to force ourselves. Like I, I felt like I needed to be doing, I need to be doing, I need to be doing, but my body's like, no, you need to just be, you need to just be. So I sat for five minutes, closed my eyes uh, for a little while. And then I, you know, the other couple minutes, I was just like staring out into space and that was okay. It was okay. You know? So, you know, sometimes it's about letting go when we're aware that we're just doing things, autopilot, 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 
because we're not conscious, we're not present. So, you know, if you have to just sit with yourself for five minutes just to get your presence back, focus on your breathing or just stare at the wall and, and focus on, you know, what you're feeling in your body. It all helps. Creativity helps. Writing helps. So, you know, I was writing for a little bit too. And, um, you know, it's just like little things that can, can switch you. I mean, then you can gravitate, you can move on to bigger things like going somewhere, somewhere different or, you know, talking to somebody new. But for a lot of us, for a lot of us, it's very difficult. It's difficult to get out of that mode. You know, you could say, okay, you got to do new things. You got to do something you've never done before. It's easy to say that, but it's hard to do it because our computer. So start small, do little things, tap into creativity, doodle or something. Um, do something different in, in your house. Like whether it's, I don't know, maybe write like a poem or something. If you just do like automatic writing or you write stories, maybe try writing like a haiku or something that you haven't done in a very long time or hit some notes on, on the keyboard, you know, um, just little things like that can help immensely. So once I did a couple of those things, I felt better. Like I pulled myself out of it. Um, the other thing was just talking to somebody about like more positive things, creativity, rather than just replaying in my mind how, you know, oh, I'm doing the same things at the same time, you know, don't dwell on it. Don't dwell on it. Talk to somebody about like higher ambition or higher purpose or something positive. And that oftentimes will, will lift you up to talking about creativity. You don't even have to do it. Just talking about it with somebody can help, you know, whether it's your family your kids, whatever, or you can, yeah, you can help your kids play with your kids too. So that, that's another great tool, but just something uh, short and sweet for today, but I hope you all have a great day and I will see you on tomorrow's video. So peace out.